Hey everybody, welcome back. This is a video that has been requested for several years now, and today is finally the day. Every other time that we tried to film this, things would go wrong, loads would get canceled, everything would just kind of hit the fan. But you guys are in luck because we just got assigned a brand new 2020 Freightliner, and today I'm gonna show you our truck tour. So guys, in the trucking industry, there's not a whole lot of players. I have a Freightliner, but just to tell you some other ones that there are, you've got Volvo, which is a huge one, and then they also have their workhorse brand, which is Mac. Then you have Peterbilt, who has a more kind of premium brand that is Kenworth. Then you have International, which we've also drove before. And then you have Freightliner. Now, maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't, but you've probably heard of their parent company, which is Daimler-Benz. So I guess you could say this is the Mercedes-Benz of the trucking industry. Before we go inside, let's take a look around the truck. one of our fuel tanks. There's one on each side of the truck, so every time that you get out to fuel, you gotta fill up both tanks. And with both of these tanks, we can go around a thousand miles on a full tank of gas or diesel. Here's our fifth wheel. This is what we use to hook up to the trailers. Now, as you can see, just on the tractor alone, we have 10 wheels on here. Then the trailer makes up the eight other wheels for an 18 wheeler. Here's our airlines and hoses. This is how we control the trailer from the tractor. We have three of them here. Two are for the brakes and then one is for the electrical. Here we have our second gas tank. And then over here, we have our DEF tank, which helps with the diesel exhaust particulates. This is our side compartment that you can have access to the internal storage from outside the truck if we need to chain up or use any tools whenever we're stopped. Now, because we experience winter nine months out of the year on the route that we run, a lot of the times we might have to put these things on. These are truck chains, and any time that the weather conditions mean that the road is a little bit too slick or a little bit too snow covered, we're gonna have to put these on. Whenever the road conditions are a little bit too Whenever the road conditions are bad enough that... All right, now that you've seen the outside, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Now, one of the best parts about trucking is that we get to bring our little friends with us. And as you can see, she's had her nails done for the occasion. Say hi, guys. All right, guys, welcome to our home away from home. We spend about five and a half days a week in this 70 square foot box. All right, so here is the general area that we will each spend about 12 hours a day in. This is the cockpit, and as you can see, the steering wheel is a lot bigger than a car. This is an 18 inch steering wheel. Um, whenever I get in the car now, it feels almost like I'm driving a clown car because the steering wheel is so much smaller. Um, and this is also an automatic truck, so it's super easy to drive. It drives just like a car. And there's also no clutch in this truck, which is great. Now, because this is an automatic, you don't have a gear stick right here. So to change into drive, reverse, or neutral, it's just as simple as that. And then as you're driving, it will automatically change the gears itself. If you want to change a gear manually, all you have to do is use the paddle shifter. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. 
where's the air horn? So of course it's right here, which is why you always see the little kids going like this because that's literally how you do it. Um, we did have an international truck that was on the horn and everybody was always really disappointed <laughs> because you didn't actually go like this to give them the horn. So we're gonna go ahead and tap it just lightly real quick for you guys. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I always get really embarrassed doing that. So because the whole industry has went to e-logs, here is how we keep track of all of our hours of service. Everything is integrated into the computer system of the truck. So here it is, and it keeps track of all of our miles every day, our off-duty sleeper berth, driving and on-duty times, um, and there's all of our miles for the past week or so that we've each ran. So for instance, yesterday my husband drove 519 miles and then today, this morning, he drove 303 um, because he has a split shift from the overnight last night into today morning. So his miles for the whole time are kind of bundled up together over the course of two days. So typically in my day, um, since I'm driving fully on one day's log, I can do around 725 miles. Next thing is that you can tell that we have two GPS's right here. Um, it's not because we're not confident in our abilities, but if you've been trucking long enough, you know that things can go wrong very quickly and sometimes these maps are not always updated with the current status of the roads. So we like to just kind of check and make sure and double check. And then we also have a triple check with the GPS that is provided in our driver tech thing. So we have a Garmin, we have a Rand McNally, and then we also have the integrated driver tech GPS. That way we have a triple check and we always can make sure that we're not gonna get hit like a low bridge or anything crazy like that. Next up, if you guys have seen people walking around with these, you're probably thinking like, is that like an off-duty telemarketer or something? Like, why are they wearing that? This is the mark of a true trucker here. You will often see them just walking around like in the mall or in stores with them. Truckers don't know how to take these off whenever they get out of the truck. Once you start using it, you just pretty much can't stop. And this is our Bluetooth. So normally a Bluetooth headset is very small, it just fits in your ear, but with those, you can't really hear what you're saying in the truck because of all of the noise. So, luckily for us, a lot of companies have came out with these that are specifically made to cancel out all of the noise of the truck. Um, even if you're outside, like at a truck stop, and there's a ton of noise going on, you can't hear any of it. It's just crystal clear call quality with the Blue Parrot. So that's why we wear these telemarketer headsets. Next up, we do have a couple toll passes here. Um, the Easy Pass goes for pretty much every state that has a toll, and then the Best Pass covers Kansas and Oklahoma. Um, and so those pretty much cover us for everything. And then right here is our Eve, which is the event recorder. So it is an outward facing camera. So if anything goes wrong, if we get into an accident, somebody cuts us off, anything like that, it immediately starts recording. That way the company can get that recording and see what went wrong. It's a great way to defend themselves in court if they are um, you know, going to court over um, a dispute with an accident or whatever, they can prove exactly what happened. Here we have our little um, bin of snacks and sauces and just miscellaneous stuff, things that we wanna have right on hand. That way, whenever I'm driving or he's driving, we can just kind of reach over and get whatever it is that we need. So because we do live in the truck for the majority of the week, the truck manufacturers do try to make it as comfortable as possible for us. So they do integrate in a lot of different storage options. We have storage options all the way surrounding the cockpit. And then we have storage options all the way through here. And there are also two bunks, but because we're husband and wife team drivers, we can use the top bunk solely for storage. So in here, for instance, we keep a lot of our um, like meal type of things, anything that doesn't need to be refrigerated. We have our dog food, paper towels, um, some meal shakes, Ziplocs, all that kind of stuff that we would need for that. And do you notice what these look like? They're kind of like the overhead bins in an airplane. Next up, this is a kind of new feature that they put in the last two years of Freightliner. 
They put a specific slot for the microwave, which is great. Um, it's strapped down, so it's really not going to move out of here. And I love it because before we had to put our microwave on the top bunk. And because I'm so short, it was kind of hard to get up there and make anything. We also have a light down here. They're crazy about lighting in the truck, so that's great also. And if you see here, these two things are curtains so that it can separate out the cockpit from the bunk so that whenever we're sleeping, we can pull these and they are blackout curtains. You can't see anything at all. It's totally dark. And it also helps to dampen the noise a little bit. So if the person driving is like listening to the radio or talking on the phone, you can't hear it that well and you can get a nice good night's sleep. So over here we have a really big crate of strawberries. <laughs> we just bought these a few minutes ago at the strawberry guy here in Sacramento. He picks them fresh from the farm and they are delicious. But we also have our two coolers. Now even though one looks a little bit bigger than the other, the actual interior size is the same, um, which is pretty cool. But in this smaller one, smaller looking one, we put all of our like drinks and things like that. And then over here in this one, we put all of our food for the week. So anything that we meal prep, anything that we bring that needs to be refrigerated. So down here, we have kind of our little dog area. We have a nice bed over here for them. Um, sometimes they'll sleep in it. A lot of the times they just sleep in the bed with whoever is sleeping. And then we have their food and water bowls. We have a nice little memory foam mat down here to put our feet on whenever we get out of bed. And then most importantly, we have this big blue beast down here. This is a 3000 watt inverter. This is brand new. Um, previously our inverters were, um, I think around 1200 watts. So the fact that we now have a 3000 watt one means that we can have even more things in the truck. Um, and since we did just move into this truck, we don't have our TV put in yet. Um, we don't have some of our appliances. However, um, whenever we go home, we're going to pick those up and get those put in here. But the 3000 watt inverter allows us to have pretty much any appliance that we could want in here um, because most of them go up to around 2000 watts. So this is perfect. All right, so back here we have the main event. This is the bed that we sleep in. Um, it is a twin XL sized bed. So we do have to buy like specialty, you know, mattress and sheets for it since, you know, a lot of places, they really only sell twin XL um, around like back to school time. So I have to strategically plan my purchases for those, but it's great that it's so long because we can both fit in there nicely. Nobody's feet are hanging off or anything. And this net thing back here is also a bunk restraint that you can use whenever the truck is rolling but someone is in the back that way if you get into any accident or something um, it kind of helps to keep you strapped in so this right here is our ladder that telescopes down um, so that you can get to the upper bunk I don't use it very much because it freaks me out <laughs> but hubs will use it a lot um, because in order to reach a lot of the stuff back there he has to climb back there and get it but this is a pretty cool feature if you do have like a teammate um, that does use the upper bunk so as you can see up here is all of our storage stuff so we keep a lot of our like um, extra paper towels, um, extra bottles of water, all that kind of stuff. We have our garbage can up there. Then we also have a couple boxes of these washcloths. It is great to have around in the truck whether it be summer or winter. You're constantly getting like dirt and grime on you like as soon as you step out of the truck. Um, even if the wind is really bad, sometimes you will just be pelted with like dirt and stuff. And in that interim time, whenever you're still waiting until the end of the night or the beginning of the morning to get to the truck stop to shower, you can quickly just like wipe off the road grime um, and keep a little bit cleaner and cooler. So up here we have our other big cabinet. This matches the one that was over here. This one we used to put like closet type stuff in. So we have all of our like backup toiletries. I keep my purse in here. Um, and then we keep our shower bags in here also. Then we have this set of cabinets. We have one here. Then we have a desk that pulls out here. And then we have another smaller cabinet here. All right, so down here in this smaller cabinet, we just keep a lot of our folded clothes. And then because this is kind of a beauty and lifestyle channel, this is where the real magic happens every morning. Um, this is where I keep pretty much all of my 
stuff that I use on a daily basis. We have a few hanging items in here. And then here I just have like my my cellar water, some perfume, deodorant, um, hairbrush. I have a couple mirrors. And then I rigged up this um, bin here to keep just a bunch of different beauty products that I use constantly. And then as you can see, I can pull out this desk and I will usually just put my um, skincare bag right here. I have my nail care bag, my makeup bag, everything in here. And then I have my mirror right in front of me. So whenever I'm getting ready in the mornings, I can just sit here and see everything and have everything all within arm's reach so that I can get ready and be prepared for the day.